Welcome back guys, it's Crazy Walder and I'm doing the second part of my crypto mining rig. So, so far, as you can see, I've got the uh, the power cables all set up and going to each one of the um, HC1 units over here. I've got my, um, my power supply running right now. I also have the 24 port switch mounted onto what is going to be the casing for this rig. Um, you know, so far this is still all in beta, beta phase right now. Um, as you can see, I've also got these little micro blower fans hooked up via USB. Um, I have yet to see if this is going to be an effective cooling method or if I just wasted my money. Um, the idea would be that since there's fins on the bottom of each one of these units, that would basically be cooling along the, um, along the fins. You know, ultimately, it's it's hard to see if this is going to be something that's going to be worthwhile. This fan is actually going to be going um, towards the bottom unit there because right now it's not really doing anything. There's no fins for it to cool. Basically, meaning that each bottom unit is going to be cooling the top unit, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, right now I also have all of my Ethernet cords over there that are currently disconnected. Um, eventually, those will basically go around this area and towards the switch. Um, I'm going to have the power cables going towards the other side entirely because I don't want the two to intersect. Um, or at least I want as little interference from the power cables um, to the Ethernet cord as possible. Um, you know, so far, ultimately this thing is also obviously going to be, um, instead of looking like a Jenga pyramid, it will be all in one row, so it will be um, completely aligned right now. I'm just doing it this way to basically check if the fans are working and all of them are going right now. So I've yet to see, you know, what the temperatures are or ultimately run some mining software to see how well this thing is going to be performing. Um, you know, ultimately I'm still not even done with the, um, the casing for this yet since this is going to be going outside. You know, it needs to be more waterproof and so that's where some Lexan and um, ultimately some silicone are going to help kind of seal this thing up so that we're not getting any kind of, you know, water inside of this thing. Um, there's also going to be an intake, um, like a cool air intake on the front side of this thing is going to be blowing air towards the, the back. Um, that's going to be coming in the uh, the final revision. And what I've actually also done here is I um, I took apart my old like bike stands basically, and uh, I've got these pipe uh, you know little pipes here that are going to be going into these holes that I've sort of drilled out so far. And these will actually be holding um, the units in place. Right now it's a 10 unit rig, but in time I'm going to have you know 10 more of them. Um, for a total of 20, I thought about going up to 24 um, until I realized that ultimately um, the switch needs to be connected to the Ethernet as well. So filling up all of those ports, you know, doesn't make sense because I'm not going to be able to actually have um, internet connected to to these guys to have them ultimately doing their thing. So so far, this is basically what it is. Um, you know, there's still a lot more work to do on the casing for this. Um, still not even quite done, and I'm already about a good two and a half hours into the build so far from the very beginning um, to the end. Something else that really sucks which I didn't realize is that I actually got extremely long power cables and um, you know at this point I'm kind of too lazy to to make them any shorter since this was already kind of um, a her you know basically a Herculean task just to get it done. Ultimately I think in the next revision what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm most likely going to actually get shorter cables um, at least for the next uh, set of units so that I don't have this giant bundle of wires that's just going everywhere. You know right now as it stands it's like a huge mess. I, I really don't like the way that it looks. Um, ultimately it's also just a mess to keep around and there's a chance that because of the wire being so long and these units actually requiring um, 5 volts at 4 amps there's actually a voltage drop over this long of a wire so I'll definitely be looking into shorter wires especially if I end up you know seeing any kind of glitches in the system um, as far as lacking power or anything like that um, you know so far none of them seem to have turned off it's been running for like a good half hour right now um, you know not really doing anything obviously so there's no load on the system uh, aside from the OS these have a basic um, you know Linux image on them right now uh, I'd have to get back to you guys on what exact Linux distribution it is that they're running but that's basically what's on there right now um, you know 
at a some at some point forward I'll probably be mounting this power supply up higher as well so that the heat is actually moving upwards and not you know interfering with any of these units and obviously these will be moved forward so they're not actually going to be anywhere near the um, power supply which you know right now it's it's not really that warm but um, you know I, I would imagine once there's more of a load on the system and once this is pushing a lot more wattage down then it'll probably get quite warm as the case is um, entirely aluminum. So that's kind of the uh, the status of the rig right now. Um, I will be updating you guys more obviously as um, as I get this built out and then hopefully you know also run some tests and see if it's working out pretty good. If it's not you know if it's ultimately worth your time to build something like this um, you know, like I said in my previous videos, there's a couple of other ideas I have for this thing aside from, you know, cryptocurrency mining, which, you know, ultimately still could bring a profit um, using this, this setup. And, um, you know, even if I don't end up using it for those purposes, there's always ways to repurpose this whole thing since none of this setup is necessarily permanent. Um, you know, it's very easy to break all these units down and apart, and, um, you know, this, the casing that I'm going to build for this is, is also fairly modular. You know, it's not as if I'm locking anything down in concrete uh, for the time being. So that's basically the status of this thing. You know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to, you know, leave them in the comments below. Um, you know, if you guys want to keep seeing more videos like this, of course, also do let me know as well. And uh, hopefully in the next video that I have uploaded, this will be looking a lot better than the state that it's in right now. Um, it might take me a little bit of time. Um, you know, currently I've had some real life stuff happening, so it's been kind of difficult to get, you know, more videos out. So I apologize for that um, in advance, but, you know, it is what it is. So you guys will hopefully see a more complete unit next time. And, you know, un until that time, you know, relax, go check out some other videos, especially using these HC ones. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care until then.